Today we will be looking at the ETLOOK algorithm behind the FruitLOOK data. FruitLOOK offers users information on moisture, growth and nutrients. This information is an output of calculations made with the help of satellite data, on the ground meteorological data and other inputs. The ETLOOK algorithm behind the FruitLOOK data provides near real-time evapotranspiration data which can be used to analyze crops, support management decisions and audit quantities of water used. Surface energy balance modeling using Earth observations started in 1984. Massimo Menenti researched evaporation in deserts applying remote sensing techniques. Wim Bastiansen investigated surface fluxes and moisture indicators, and he developed CBOL, the surface energy balance algorithm for land. With support of Henk Pelgrim, who had experience in spatial aggregation of land surface characteristics, they improved CBOL to what we now call ETLOOK. The ETLOOK algorithm can focus on small scale field levels, such as your field in FruitLOOK. It is also used for monitoring irrigation districts, countries, and larger areas of land. The ETLOOK algorithm uses the Penwin Monteith method to determine evapotranspiration. This method needs information from different sources to make the calculations. ETLOOK separately determines the T, canopy transpiration, and E, evaporation from soil. It considers surface and soil resistance and aerodynamic resistance for soil and canopy separately. Also, the air density, latent heat of vaporization, conductivity of air, and more. Passive microwaves in the electromagnetic spectrum provide information on topsoil moisture. A soil moisture algorithm can then estimate the subsoil moisture. In order to run the ETLOOK algorithm, information is needed from satellites and meteorological stations. From satellites, data on surface albedo, NDVI, and microwaves for top and subsoil moisture is needed. Meteorological stations provide information on wind speed, the air temperature, relative humidity, and solar radiation. The data from different sources are matched based on the time to make sure all information aligns. ETLOOK is used for multiple projects and locations all over the world. Validation of the data output have been done by comparing the data with on-the-ground data. Long time series are used to provide average values and indicate when both data input as well as output show anomalies. Research on various sites in the Western Cape have supported the calibration of the algorithm. Please do contact us if you have any questions on the ETLOOK algorithm or any other aspect of FruitLOOK.